All right, it's late at night, Saturday night. Many of the players from the club are commiserating after losing a few grades, except for first grade. Fourth, fourth grade got up and, and first grade. 14 points to Gordon, 18 points to the good guys, Norse. Huey, how do you sum that game up? Uh, pretty, uh, pretty scrappy, built on some good defence, but we blew a fair, lot, fair few opportunities which uh, would have put the game out of reach, but gutsy, gutsy defence. Um, some dis good discipline at times. Um, but yeah, defence, you know, there were three or four times they were on our line and we, uh, we took it away from them, so that was really impressive. And it wasn't just three or four times, mate. It was, it was three or four times, but for 10, 12, 13, 14 phases. That was the thing that was really impressive. Yeah, yeah, it was long phases and we kept that discipline to not give away a penalty in those, uh, in those zones and, you know, came away with the goods in the end, I guess. Mate, it was, it was a terrific effort. I thought, um, I thought at different stages Gordon got a nose in front and then we got a nose in front. At no stage did I think, uh, watching with, with in the crowd, that we were going to win this game easy. It was always going to be a tough battle out there. Yeah, well, you know, we, we weren't ahead on the scoreboard, but I felt like we had control. Yep. I don't know, maybe that sounds stupid, but... I felt like we had control of the game. Uh, we had the momentum. We had, you know, the dominant line out. Although we missed a few, which screwed us. But we were all over their line out. Um, and scrum wise, I thought we were solid so today. But yeah, I felt like we were in control. But you know, we just didn't have that scoreboard pressure. And we got eventually in the second half. We just turned it around. A few kicks would have been nice, but uh, put it out of reach. But it is what it is. I thought as a set piece, the scrum today was probably the best we've had this year. Yeah, it was really solid. Uh, it was really good. Uh, Benny. Um, Kitch and Lawrence there starting, then Caleb, a uh, new prop from the down in Melbourne, uh, came on and did a good job. Uh, I'm not sure what the ref was thinking with that last scrum. Uh, they were playing silly buggers and forced us to stand up and gave them a free kick, but it is what it is. And a couple of times you, I saw you having a chat to the ref, um, and it was usually after one of their blokes was down injured. You think it's intentional that some teams we play against try to slow the game down and slow our momentum down? Oh, yeah, there's, but there's injuries are part of the game. We have injuries and stuff like that, so... You don't worry about it too much? Yeah, he's what it is. He's sort of, I just do it, just put a bit of pressure on the ref and get the game moving. Just, uh, it's got to be done. And the reason we're out here is because there's no only half whites on in here. I wonder yeah. if that's a tactic of good. Yeah, they're singing, they're singing Sweet Carolina in the dark, so... Uh, <laughs> wow, that'd be right. Now, I can't... It would be remiss of me not to mention uh, Sonny Bill Sinclair. Oh. What was going on there? I don't know, he, uh, he missed all the kicks and decided he was upset so he put a shoulder charge on with six minutes to go and got himself put in a bin. Made it very tense with 14 men for the last six minutes. Then we camped in our 22, but brilliant turnover by Gary Bortz and um, to uh, yeah, win us the game, really. I thought um, today for me, your back row, yourself, Bortzy and Connor Vest were pretty outstanding at the rate down and getting around the park. Connor playing his first game six, is that yeah. right? Yeah, this year, yep. Um, I, he, he was very good out there and Bortzi at the back of the line out with their overthrows just cleans up a lot, doesn't he? Yeah, no, he did, he did really well. I thought, I thought we were good and uh, back where I was solid. I thought the forward pack was good. Um, obviously, always plenty, plenty of things to improve. You know, we, we lost plenty of line outs that we had good attacking opportunities. So. Is that frustrating? Oh, it's pain in the ass. <laughs> I love it. So, yeah. But it is what it is. There's... Uh, Throw issues, there's jump lift issues, there's lift issues, so we've got to sort of nut that out because that's just money. So. And next week is South at home, so uh, we look forward to seeing everybody watching, um, everybody in the club getting down to support us against South at home. Yeah, South at home, um, yeah, looking forward to it. Just a shout out to everyone who, uh, who came out today and uh, was watching the score closely. <laughs> um, what was yeah. it like playing at night? I should have asked you that straight off the bat. I really enjoyed it actually. Uh, I enjoyed the day because it was a very more relaxed day. Um, but I think it just sort of everyone threw everyone out a little bit. Yeah. Um, we weren't quite where we wanted to be. Um, we probably used up a bit of emotional energy before the game. Yeah. Um, but it is what it is, and you know we'll take it. We'll take the win. We'll take uh, take four points and uh, move on. Move on the next week. You know. Mate, thanks a lot for joining us. As always, it's great hearing your insights into the game straight after the game. We really appreciate it. I know everybody watching really appreciates your time. And um, get back in there and get on the Sweet Carolina. Yeah, good to take out the trash, eh? Thanks, mate.